this one is with a paintbrush. A little less noise. Okay, we're just going to do very similar but with a paintbrush that looks similar to the ones that Daiso offers. Um, here's the one I got at Daiso. And this is the paintbrush I already had, but it's the same, basically the same width. So this will work, I think, similar to these. So really, we start out the same. We're going to wet it, wet the brush, grab green. You know what? I need more white. I like white against black, so I like it bright. So here we go. Here's white. We're going to start at the bottom, brush horizontally, raise it, brush horizontally, and come back down. And this is going to be a little different than using the Q-tips because, as you can see, it's a lot more refined. The edges are a lot crisper. The joints will be a lot crisper. But you see, I'm not very careful with how I blend the paint. I'm just trying to get the green in there, a little white. I'm heading again toward the left. I keep the black showing between the joints. Like that. I'm going to do something similar to the Q tip version. You can see here, it's really the same technique as with the Q-tips, but you could tell that the branches are a lot crisper. The edges are crisper. It's not as raw, rough looking as when we did it with the Q-tips. But... With the Q-tips, I feel that people have Q-tips in the house, not necessarily this, they have paint brushes, so I can do, I'd rather do it with the Q-tips, it's rougher, it's easier, I think, to use, people aren't maybe as intimidated, I don't know. You, you 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 can tell me what you guys think if it's intimidating using a brush versus versus a Q-tip. Again, I like adding contrast. I'm going to add a little highlighting. Now, during the presentation, if we do go ahead with this, I will slow it down 
but this is just to give you an idea of what it'll end up looking like using a paintbrush. There we go. Oops, ah, splashing on my computer screen. Okay. So let's get most of the paint off because we're going to use the same brush for the branches. And A little heavy there. I'm using a lot more white so it shows up. And then we're going to use the same brush for the leaves like that. Make that a nice long leaf. It's the same thing. A little more refined than the toothpick, but it's the same idea. Add your leaves. Big leaves, small leaves, long leaves, fat leaves. There we go. That's really how fast it would go. But I will slow it down for the event. Do you see? Can you take a look at that? There we go. Now, again, we're going to add a little black to highlight. There. So you could see the difference with a brush versus Q-tips and toothpicks. It's just flicking with the wrist. This is not. There we go. I think you can see the difference. Now this one is the one with the paintbrush. And this one is the one, can you see it, with the Q-tips. So this one I think is just as doable as the one with the paintbrush. It goes just as quick. Uses the same paints, everything. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the differences and you guys can, you both can figure if uh, this is something that maybe we can present. Uh, I feel everyone can do this in an hour and it'll it, it comes out I think decent it all looks like bamboo okay I'll I'll load this one up to YouTube and I'll send out the links over the weekend and hopefully next week you guys can check it out um, and that's really it this is I don't think it's hard I tried to make it beginner friendly sorry that's my dog in the background you see him see her right there <laughs> anyway Thanks, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.